Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is IP version six. In this introduction, I will talk about what is IPv6. Why do we need IPv6? How big is IPv6 space size? How to simplify an IPv6 address, and why its adoption is slow. IPv6 is the latest version of Internet Protocol. IPv6 is layer three protocol of the OSI model. It is the Internet next generation protocol intended to replace IPv4. IPv6 became a draft standard in December 1998, but did not formally become Internet standard until July 14. 2017. Why do we need IPv6? There's many reasons, such as better security and better routing. But the main reasons is IPv4 supports only about 4.3 billion addresses, which are far from enough to meet the need of the dramatic growth of the internet. By February 2011, IPv4 public addresses. Were already run out. We need a newer, better, and never run out IP addressing scheme. IPv6 seems like a good solution. What does IPv6 address look like? Here's one example. First, IPv6 address uses hexadecimal number or hex number. It has eight groups of hex numbers. Separated by colons, and each group has four hex characters or symbols. Each character or symbol is four bit long. Thus, each group is sixteen bit long. Eight times sixteen bits, and we get one hundred twenty-eight bits. Thus, an IPv6 address is one hundred twenty-eight bit long. Then, how large is IPv6 space? Two to the power one twenty-eighth is approximately three point four times ten to the thirty-eighth. Let's expand it out. It looks like this long with these many zeros. My my my! Let's get a sense of this huge number. Let's say the current world population is about seven billion people, and each single person can have five times ten to the twenty-eighth, or fifty octillion IPv6 addresses. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, approximately one hundred ten billion people have lived on planet Earth since the very beginning. If there are 100 trillion cells in the human body and 40,000 genes in each cell, IPv6 would provide 773 million addresses for each gene in each cell in the body of every human being has ever lived. Let's see this picture. The number of IPv6 addresses is about 340, followed by 36 zeros. The number followed by three zeros is thousand. The number followed by six zeros is million. The number followed by nine zero is billion. The number followed by twelve zero is trillion. To be honest, any number beyond this point. Doesn't not make sense to me. The one followed by fifteen zero is quadrillion, then quintillion, sextillion, septillion, octillion, nonillion, decillion, and the number followed by thirty six zeros is undecillion. Let's compare IPv6 space size with other objects. The number of IPv4 is about 4.3 billion. The current world population is about 7 billion. The estimated 
number of grains of sand on all the beaches in the world is 7.5 quintillion. The estimated number of gallons of water in the world is 330 quintillion. The estimated number of stars in the universe is 10 sectillion. But compared with majestic number of IPVC addressing space and size, all those huge numbers seem very tiny. You can see one goal of IPv6 design is to make sure we will never run out addresses again. How to simplify IPv6 address? IPv6 address is very long and much more complicated than IPv4. Here are three steps methods. Step 1. Leading zeros can be dropped from any group. Here we have five groups with the leading zeros. Thus, the, the second, the third, the fourth groups are simplified to zero, colon, zero, colon, zero. The fifth group is simplified to eight, zero. And the seventh group is simplified to 2CE. Step 2. Using a pair of colons to represent a string of consecutive groups with a value of 0. In this example above, group 2, 3, and 4 are all zeros and they are next to each other. Thus, according to this step, we simplify three zeros further into a pair of colons. The rest remain the same. Step 3 is optional, which is only necessary when we have more than one set of colon pairs after step 2. In this step, we will make sure we cannot use more than one set of colon pairs. For example, we have this IP address with three consecutive groups of value of zero and two consecutive groups of zero. We can simplify to 2001 a pair of colon CF colon zero colon zero colon one two three four or 2001 colon zero colon zero colon zero colon CF a pair of colons are 1, 2, 3, 4, but it is wrong to write this way. 2001, a pair of colon, CF, a pair of colon, 1, 2, 3, 4. Finally, let's see IPv6 adoption from 2009 to today based on Google users. You can get the latest statistics by this link, which I will put below this video. Up to today in 2018, slightly more than 22% of devices are using IPv6. Why adoption is slow? One, private addressing scheme and net rescue IPv4. 2. Expensive. Because millions of servers, routers, and switches needed to upgrade for IPv6. The third reason is compatibility with IPv4. The fourth reason, are people are afraid of changes. Since IPv4 still works fine, why change? So I hope this introduction video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.